Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. What I'm going to show you right now is how to programmatically access view objects and also drill down to their corresponding children uh, view objects. So if you have uh, master detail relationships, you can do that programmatically. Now you can access these view objects using the generic interface. We're already making an assumption here that you have your application module. So let's take a look at our structure first of all. And you'll see here that I do have this uh, parent here of regions, then countries, locations, departments, and employees. Notice that they're indented, which means we have a master detail relationship. Okay, so what is our next step? Well, I want to generate the Java code behind these so I can program with them directly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is right click on my regions view and then I go to the Java right here and I click on Java classes. Make sure this first one, uh, these two checkboxes are uh, checked as well as the generate view row class. So there's the uh, regions view row implementation. And once you hit OK, if you expand this, you'll see that not only do we have the regions view implementation, but also the regions view row implementation. If you double click on there, you can see, in fact, you can look at it through the structure right here, uh, that we have the getters and setters. Okay, so we have set region ID, get region ID, and so on. Okay, so dragging this back down here, I'm going to do the same thing with the other view objects. So we go into our countries, right click on there, Make sure we click on there and say, yes, we want to generate these. Now we go to our locations. Do that like that. Then we go to departments. Looking good, we're almost finished. And then to our employees. And there we go. Okay, so let's save all of this. Now the next thing we want to do is programmatically access our application module and those view objects in there from a different project. So if we are in our view controller over here, uh, I'm just going to right click on here and I'll say new and I'm just going to create a Java class and I'll show you how to create a standalone program that will access that. So I'll just call this uh, app module test and I'll provide a main method in there. Looking good so far. So now in here, you know what, I don't even need this uh, constructor right here. What I'm going to do, I don't need this line is either, I'm going to use a class called configuration. Okay, so here is the oracle.jbo.client package that we want to import. So now when I hit that dot, you'll see that there is a create root application module and uh, do the one that has that takes two strings as its argument. So the first string is going to be the fully qualified name of your application module. So that's going to be, so the fully qualified name is com.example.model. So we'll just put that in there. And then the second argument is going to be that uh, app module name with the word local tacked on to the end. Just like that. Okay, so what this returns is an application module right up here. I'll give this a shorter name such as app mod. So now that you have a reference to that application module, you can then find the view object, okay? And you'll see here, if you hit control space, that uh, the background of this dropdown looks a little bit different. What that does is uh, now when you select one of these, it not only returns the right-hand side, but also the left-hand side of the equal sign. So it uh, basically fills in the blanks as far as what type of uh, return type it gives. Okay, so we want to find view object passing in the string. So if you take a look at your data control, that's where you're actually going to find the name of it. Okay, so let's uh, pull our data control up here. You can hit refresh, and um, here we go. Here's our, here it is. Okay, so um, if we drill down here, it's called regions view one. So this is what I'm going to pass in here. And as I mentioned, uh, this returns a view object. We'll just call this VO. Okay, so now that we have this view object, we can actually downcast it to the appropriate data type. You'll see here that we have a regions view impl. Let's do that. 
Regions View Impl is actually a view object, and so you can just click on here and downcast uh, the right hand side. Once you have that, then you can have a while loop. You can say while vo dot has next, you can loop through this. You'll see that by saying vo dot next, it returns a row, and we can actually downcast that to the appropriate data type. For example, the actual row is the regions view row impl. Okay, now that we have that, we can simply uh, make sure we import that and then we can downcast it. So by using these particular data types here, uh, we can have these strongly typed methods. Okay, so now we can print out information. So if I say system.out.println, maybe I want to print out row.getRegionName. Now if you want to drill down and find the countries associated with the region, you'll see that if you say row.getCountriesView, it returns a row iterator. So in order to loop through our rows, what you're going to do is provide yet another while loop. So you can say while country vo dot has next. Okay, and this time let's give our row a different name. Instead of being a regions view row impl, it will now be a different data type. Remember the child of regions was countries. Okay, so let's find where it is. Here it is. So this will be countries view row impl. We'll call this C row to distinguish it from the other data type. And we'll say uh, country vo dot next. Okay, now we're going to do some casting, which is necessary for this to compile. And now we can once again do uh, some printing. So we can say system dot out dot print line. Maybe we just want to print out uh, the c row dot get country name. Okay, now if we want to perform indentation, it might be a little bit easier to read like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out what we have so far. I'll just right click on here and run it. Okay, we'll pull this up here so you can see the results. Give it just a moment. And here is our result. So we have uh, the indentation, there are the countries. Great, this is working. So now let's take this a step further. The next level after countries is location. So inside of this while loop, I'm going to say C row dot get locations view, you'll see that that returns a row iterator. So let's just uh, do that and I'm going to give this a different name. Maybe I'll call this uh, LVO for location view object. And now we'll have another while loop in there. So while LVO dot has next. Now you'll see inside of here that if I say LVO dot next, you'll see that this returns a row. So I'm going to cast this to the appropriate data type and so this is going to be locations view row impl and now we can make sure that this is cast to the appropriate data type. Now we can print it out. So system dot out dot print line and let's indent this a little bit more this time and then we're going to print out instead of calling this next maybe we'll call this uh, L row. So we'll print out the L row dot get city. Maybe we want to tack onto there a space followed by L row dot get state province. Okay. Okay, let's give this a whirl now. Let's right click on our file and run it. Okay, I'll pull this up and we'll get our results here in a second. And here's our result set, so we have our locations right in there. It looks great. Thank you for viewing. My name is Julie Johnson. I'm with Firebox Training.